Okay, aquaponics on a budget. This is my fish tank. And actually, I think my grow bed, my bell siphon here is about to trigger off the siphoning of the water into the sump. Here yeah, is actually started. The water is just beginning to trickle out. As you can see, the flow is now beginning to get a little heavier. Okay, so that's my sump draining out my grow bed, I mean, draining out into my sump. Okay, grow bed. I have some lettuce in here, some other little plants. This is some, uh, we call it big leaf thyme. Um, this here is actually a cauliflower plant, um, different types of lettuce. And not too sure what kind of plant is that. Just got some seedlings from the plant shop, put them in here just to see how the plants will be able to sustain together in the grow bed right so this is still in the experimental stages um, my fish tank I have some tilapia in here I don't know if you can see them really good or not but my water is pretty clear um, I have the system running about three months now only recently added the plants to the system actually added the fish first even before adding the filter okay now this is my filter to the back here we'll go through this quickly um, this barrel here is my filter. This line actually comes from the sump. I have a submersible pump down in here that pulls the water straight up into this filter that I've made. This filter is filled with this media here. This is um, actually some potato sacks that up or, or onion sacks. Not sure which one it actually is. One of the two and. I have about close to, let's say about 75 to 100 bags that I've put in here. Alright, so this is my tank. Inside the tank I have the outlet. This outlet here is this one that runs back into the fish tank. And the other one that you can see on this side is the one that runs back into the grow bed. Okay? Um, this one I have on top here is actually a venturi system that I've hooked up but I've condemned it after this about a week ago because it keeps bringing back up um, particles, small sediments from the bottom of my sump, I mean of my filter, sorry, that I didn't really want coming back up. I was trying to introduce some air into the system to see if I could get more helpful bacteria to grow in here, alright? Um, this is my drain off for my filter fish tank. My cover for the fish tank is actually a piece of Cyrotex that I've got and I just rest it on top. Um, these pieces of pipe here is pipe that I've used already for my in the system. I keep experimenting as I go along and trying to make my system run more efficient. Um, I plan on taking all these plants as soon as they reach maturity and leveling my bed properly and putting some more plants in there. Currently I have an ant problem also. I don't know if you could see but um, on these plants in particular there are some little black ants that keep walking around on them. I think it's because I have a aphid problem. Uh, I've checked online to see what I can do to control this problem. They don't seem to be affecting my lettuce at all though. My lettuce seems to be growing very healthy. Um, this aphid problem, I've told the solution for it is to get um, ladybugs and introduce them into the system. But the part of the, the country that I'm in getting ladybugs um, is kind of difficult. So I'm checking my options to see what other solutions I can get for this right now. But so far this is where I'm at. Okay. I think my bed is finished draining. You can see the it has stopped draining right about now into my sump. And that's it. Okay, that's it for now. This is aquaponics on a budget from Arima in Trinidad, West Indies. Okay.